Good evening, and welcome to Christ Church. I have a biblical riddle for you this evening. See if you can solve it without turning to chapter 28 of the book of Job. Man does not comprehend its worth. It cannot be found in the land of the living. The deep says, it is not in me. The sea says, it is not within me. It cannot be bought with the finest gold, nor can its price be weighed in silver. It cannot be brought with the gold of Ophir, with precious onyx or sapphires. Neither gold nor crystal can compare with it, nor can it be had for jewels or gold. Carl and Jasper are not worthy of mention. What is it? The price of wisdom is beyond rubies. And yet, wisdom today is in ill repute. We have current in our land an anti-wisdom trend that is serving us very poorly in an increasingly complex society. People feel that because some are wise, that is a repudiation of our fundamental equality. Rather than each contributing from their best ability to the whole, people feel that the contributions of others are judgments on them. Where does that come from? It comes, I would posit to you, from the worship of self. Because if my ego is my God, then anyone who causes me to reflect upon my ego with anything other than absolute adulation has done me injury. But if God is my God, then I already know my own unworthiness. I am already humble, and therefore I cannot be humiliated. I can celebrate the skill of the athlete, the wisdom of the professor, the knowledge of the sage, the piety of the saint, and I can contribute whatever gift I have been given without jealousy and without having to feel judged, but instead sure in the knowledge that I am beloved. Whenever you find offense, whenever you feel resentment rising up in your heart, turn quickly and discipline yourself because those are the sure symptoms of a disease worse than COVID-19. That is the disease of pride and self-adulation. There is too much of it and there are people who are dying because of it. We have no time to endure that kind of self-harm we must instead, following in the last verse of the chapter of the twenty eighth chapter of Job, the fear of the Lord that is wisdom, to shun evil is understanding. God loves each of us, and God gifts each of us with a opportunity to contribute to our fellow men and women. That's a wonderful thing. Your contribution is your contribution, unique and wonderful in itself, and not to be judged or disparaged by comparison to any other. May the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Good night.